Hi guys, so we're two days away from the race of the stones and I'm getting all my kit together, getting sorted what I need. This year, instead of doing the 100Ks in a single day, I'm going to be breaking it down and doing 50Ks on Saturday, 50Ks on Sunday, uh, turning it into basically a, a stage race. And so I thought I'd run through some of the kit that I will be taking to help me through doing both of those days. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. I've laid it all out here in my sort of spare room stroke. This is the kit room really. Um, much to everyone else who lives in this house's annoyance, um, but I take over. Um, so let's get down to it. To start with, most important thing you need, obviously, is killer footwear. Um, the trail out there is going to be hard because it's been sunny for about two months. Um, so it's almost going to be, I think, pretty much like road running. But I'm going to be taking these. These are the Hoka Onioni uh, Torrents. These are brand new. Um, and as you can see, they've got good lugs on the bottom. And they're nice and lightweight. Um, they've got... A decent amount of cushioning they're very very soft to run in um, and they've got a good bit of roll so these are these are going to be my main ratios in case I get to a point where they're not working out I got some backups and I'm going to a more standard road shoe this is the Nike uh, Zoom Vomero which I've used for running on the roads in training and these may be useful for a little bit more comfort if I need it or if these shoes aren't really working out um, I hope that won't be the case I've got some compression sleeves for my calves keep them nice and fresh I've got my favourite socks, these are the X Socks Speed Metal, blister free, wherever I run. Took them to the desert, no blisters, fine. I've got a buff, everyone needs a buff. Um, I've got a hooker hat, that's just because um, I'm going to need something to keep that nice and safe from the sun. I'm underneath to try and you know help with the muscle fatigue. I'm going to be wearing these uh, two times U compression shorts, um, these are the two times U MCS. I've run marathons in them before and they just they keep everything nice and sort of stable. Um, I love the way they feel on the run and also they don't chafe, which is a big win. Uh, I've got some shorts, going to need those. I've got my lovely Strava top. So that's basically my clothing down for what I'm going to wear on the top. Uh, let's go into the tech. So, I'm trying to keep it a bit simple. Normally I'll wear about 20 watches, but I'm doing a test this time. So I have got two watches. I have the Sunto 9, brand new, supposed to last 125 hours battery life that is the ultimate ultra watch if it really works we're going to put it a little bit to the test over the next uh, 24 48 hours i have the garmin vivo active 3 uh, this one was given to me to test out by dixon's car phone the sponsor to the race of the stones and i'm going to be using that in partnership with this this here this little sensor is called a stride now that is all about running on power uh, more on that on the blog later but essentially those two are going to work together and be running on one number, which will be a power number, not pace. Um, I've got a battery pack, going to need one of those to recharge overnight. Um, this one is from Goji Adventure. It's proper rugged, it's waterproof, that's going to be bulletproof out there. I've got a smaller one, which I'm going to drop. I'm going to take that with me in my pack, just in case my phone runs out whilst I'm on the course. I've got a chest strap, a Polar H10. I'm going to use that paired with the Sunto so that I can see and compare the power stats to my heart rate. Uh, I'm going to take a tenner just in case I get lost or I need to get a taxi. Uh, I'm going to take my favourite, it's the flip belt, uh, whack it in there, keeps everything nice and secure, can carry my gels, can carry loads of other stuff, put things where I need them. I think I'm going to carry this raid light bag which also carry, takes a bottle. Um, lots of storage in the front and that's another place where I can store fuel if I need to. I, I may or may not though, I'm deciding. I'm going to be giving this a nice run out for the first time. I've got the Ultimate Direction um, Ultra Vest here. This is like from the Signature Series. And I have ditched the, the main bottles and I'm replacing them with these. I love these little stubby Evian bottles. I know it's sort of single-use plastic and I'm ruining the planet, but I use them quite a lot throughout the day. And they're really easy to fill, much easier than those soft, um, soft bottles you get with these nice caps to drink out of. You can put protein powders and other salts and stuff in there nice and easy. So that's going to be a win, and they sit they sit really firmly in the in the ultimate directions um, bottle holders as well. So that's fab. Okay, so onto my other bits and pieces. I've got it's going to be hot out there. We reckon it's going to be twenty, starting out from sixteens up to twenty fours, twenty fives. Going to need some P twenty. Put it on once. No, I have to worry about the sun. Um, I have got my favourite anti chafe anti blister powders. This one is the Two Toms Blister Shield. Wore that. Use that for the MDS, you powder your feet, it lets water out but not back in, um, so it helps keep your feet nice and dry, 
prevents hot spots and calluses. That's that's a win. Never had, didn't have one blister really in the NDS. It's two Tom Sports Shield. You rub that everywhere. Nipples, downstairs, upstairs, all around. No chafing. That's absolutely essential. So that's my kind of med medical bits and pieces. Over here to my food. So nutrition, what have I got? I have got gels. I'm gonna have to take these ones. Banana power gels. Uh, strawberry and banana, sorry, from power gel. I have got some supplements. I've got some salt tablets left over from the MDS. I've got some beta alanine, um, which are gonna help me with a bit of go faster. I've got a little collapsible cup that you need so you can get a cup of tea when you're on the course. That's an essential. I have got some carbohydrate powders, mixtures of uh, this stuff, Generation You Can, which is a complex starch. The idea is that it's supposed to keep your blood sugar levels more even and it comes through more steadily than some other things. And I'll be, I'll be sort of testing out where I am between the use of that and the gels. Gels probably for later when I really feel like I need them. I have got some of this. This is Totem Sport. Um, I've used this for the marathon when it's been really hot. And this has got, I think, about 78 different electrolytes in it. Um, so this is kind of re for replacing salt. It's going to be really essential out there when it's, it's going to be hot. The sun's going to be down on you. Um, I sweat an awful lot. So replacing the salts is vital so that when I drink the water, it also goes back into the system. Um, I have here my breakfast. Yummy, look at that, powder. Liquid breakfast, that is gonna be delicious. I've got another one in here already made. Um, good thing about liquid breakfast though is that you don't feel heavy when you start to run. You can pour them like that. I stick a bit of water in on the morning after we've camped and I'm good to go in about five seconds. No need for a frying pan and a stove and all that jazz. Uh, I have got also, I don't go anywhere without a bag of nuts. Um, what else have I got? That's pretty much it. I've got some diarolites. Again, more salts just in case. Um, and that's pretty much everything I'm going to need for race. When it comes to the camping on the night, when I finish the first day, I've got some more two times you. These are long compression uh, tights. I'm going to put them on straight away, get the legs nice and uh, compressed, get the legs up and start to, to help my recovery to go again the second day. I've got this rather um, nice, compact, handy, uh, it's Coolmax Polygene infused uh, sleeping mat. If you can see, that's going to keep me nice and snug. It's got a built-in pillow. Yes, luxury. Um, I've got a head torch so I can see what when I'm going to the toilet out the tent. I've got some very very comfy uh, Ufos. Uh, what are they? They're basically recovery shoes. Um, so soft. They're like flip flops, but um, the softest flip flops you're ever going to wear. Brilliant for the feet recovery. I've got. A first aid kit in case really bad stuff happens, like well, bad stuff, and then there's some plasters in there and an emergency blanket. And I've got my on jacket, which is going to keep me warm in case well, when the sun goes down in the night. And all of this stuff is going to go into this bag. That is an Aquapack waterproof uh, bag. It's probably not going to rain. I say that it might. If it does, all of my stuff in here is going to be nice and dry in here because that is waterproof. And that's it, that's how I'm gonna run. Uh, pretty much everything that I'm gonna need for two days to go and crack the Dixon's Carphone Race of the Stones. Uh, hopefully I'll see some of you guys out there.